welcome viewers in this video we'll see the transformer on no load when the transformer is no load what is the parameters available subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box now we'll see the topic a transformer is said to be on no load if the secondary is open we know that in transformer we have primary winding and secondary winding if the secondary winding is kept open then it is called as a no load when primary is connected to the alternating voltage and alternating current is flowing which produces alternating flux so the secondary winding is kept open primary winding is connected with the alternating voltage so that alternating current flows due to rate of change of this alternating current alternating flux is produced so the primary input current i naught at no load is used to supply so the little bit amount of primary current will flowing because secondary is still open so the load is not available but only few little bit less amount of current is flowing in the primary winding that is due to one is the two components available one is for ion loss in the core due to ion loss that is hysteresis and eddy current loss another part is very small amount of copper loss in the primary right so one is for ion loss another one used for the magnetizing the coil that is nothing but a copper loss so this i naught behind the voltage v1 by an angle of pi naught which is less than 90 degree that is due to inductive circuit current and voltage current is lagging the applied voltage so that is lagging by pi naught but it is less than 90 degree so at no load the input power is w naught equal to v1 this is the applied voltage i naught is the small amount of current flowing through the coil then cos pi naught it's so angle between v1 and i naught this pi naught is the angle between v1 and i naught now we'll see that this is again splitted into two components by referring the vector diagram i naught cos pi naught i naught sin pi naught right now we'll see this diagram vector diagram so this is the flux is a magnetizing current this i naught is now splitted into two parts magnetizing current and working current magnetizing current is flow this due to the flux due to flux only the magnetizing current is flowing due to magnetizing current only the flux is produced so both are in phase so applied voltage applied voltage and sum of these two is the current so that is it is in it is an angle of pi naught so this magnetizing current in phase with the flux this working current is in phase with the voltage the vector sum of these two is nothing but a output current uh, is nothing but a primary current i naught so this angle is pi naught so based on that this triangle is drawn separately here so this is the i naught this is horizontal component is the magnetizing current vertical component is the working current this is the total current in the primary winding so this triangle is drawn separately here right so from that if you take cos pi cos pi is nothing but opposite side by adjacent side i mu divided by i naught so i naught so from that i naught sin pi equal to i mu similarly cos pi naught cos pi naught is adjacent side by hypotenuse i w by i naught so that i naught into cos pi will give the i w so that is there two components are available i naught there are two components available working component and magnetizing component right so this induced emf e1 and e2 are opposite to that of v1 because based on the faraday's law and lenz law induced emf opposing the cost producing opposing the flux so that it is available in the opposite direction right so this is the flux available the magnetizing current is in phase with the flux the working current is in phase with the voltage vector sum of these two is i naught that i naught and v is having then phase angle of pi naught right so that is given in the power v1 i naught cos pi naught so these two components can be calculated from this triangle so this triangle is drawn separately here based on that we have i naught equal to cos pi naught i naught cos pi naught equal to iw that is 
cos pi naught equal to i w divided by i naught, i naught is multiplied here. This is called a working component or ion loss component. It is supplies the ion and copper loss in phase with the voltage. Another one i naught sin pi equal to i mu. So, this is a magnetizing component. So, the little bit of current used for magnetizing component, it is a wattless component at which 90 degree, it is it is in 90 degree with the V1, it is used to produce the flux in the core, right. So, the one part of current is used to, to produce the flux in the core, another part is used as a ion loss component. This sum of these two, vector sum of these two is nothing but a total current in the primary winding, I naught equal to square root of I w square plus I mu square, working component, ion loss this magnetizing component in the magnetizing component in the primary winding vector sum of these two is i naught so in this video we discuss about when transformer is on no load no load condition what is the vector diagram and what is the current flowing through the winding subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available on the drive link is given in the description box thank you for listening